Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon trading card game online from Bad Deck Monday. And I apologize, this is a little late, I've been kind of uh, out of it lately, just got done with school, so hopefully we'll get back into the swing of things here with some more regular video uploads and stuff like that. Different content, I'm going to try to do more stuff besides just PTCGO, the other videos are a little bit more time consuming, but... Uh, I might have a little more time now, so. Uh, but in the meantime, Bad Deck Monday. Um, this is a deck I've used in the past. It's, um, it may look like a regular, you know, Blastoise deck right there, but it's not just Blastoise. It is Blastoise and Waylord. So normally you pair Blastoise with cards like Keldeo EX or Black Hiram EX. But nope, we're going with the 200 HP monster, Waylord. So it has, it's a stage 1. It does have 200 HP, that is a ridiculous amount. And then it's attack, water cannon, does 30 damage times the number of energy attached to Waylord. But you have to flip heads, otherwise it does nothing. So this is a very unreliable Pokemon, but it is a monster. If we can manage to get it set up. And it only gives up one prize. So maybe uh, maybe Waylord's not as bad as you may think. But it's still a lot of setup to get all this out. You need to get the Blastoise. You need to get the Waylord. You need to get a bunch of energy. And, um, you know, it's just a lot simpler to put down a basic EX. And that's why this is Bad Deck Monday. Because we get to use Waylord. Alright, so uh, looks like we're going up against Trainer 1001001. Um, and it looks like they're playing a an Empoleon deck. And I, you know, I, I don't think this is a bad matchup for us. Empoleon is a deck that's become very popular. It is uh, 140 HP, and it can knock out pretty much anything in two hits. And it's a non-EX Pokemon. So Empoleon has actually gotten a lot of popularity lately. After all the rule changes happened, uh, it's just gotten a lot better. So, we, we've seen a lot of Empoleon decks for that reason, but Empoleon doesn't stack up very well against a Waylord. <laughs> um, Attack Command will only knock us out in two hits because of that 200 HP. And we're going to trade one for one in prizes. So, it seems like Waylord actually has the advantage, depending on how quickly my opponent is able to set up. We do see an Espeon. It's kind of strange. We don't see that very often. We do see Leafeon featured pretty often nowadays in Empoleon decks to deal with Keldeo EX. And Leafeon's a pretty solid attacker. So if you're already playing Eevee, you can play that Espeon, which does have the Solar Revelation ability. I think that's what it's called. Shot in the dark. Uh, but it prevents all effects of attacks to any of your Pokemon that have energy attached to them. So this would be very good against a Gothitelle Excelgore deck which relies on paralyzing you over and over. Espeon will take away that paralysis, and perhaps could allow Empoleon to beat that kind of a deck. If that did come up. Uh, anyway, back to this game. We do have a turn to Empoleon. My opponent has played, uh, played his hand down to pretty much nothing. Well, actually, zero cards in hand, and then there's going to be a, an attack command for 90 damage. Taken down my Squirtle, but that is okay. Uh, we have pretty much everything I need right now. Uh, I just need to draw a Waylord. So we're going to go ahead and Deluge. Uh, we can attach as many Water Energy as we want now because of that ability. And oh boy, we got some Waylords. Alright, so now there's already three Energy in the discard pile as well. So we can use a Superior Energy Retrieval, discard a Tropical Beach, and an N. Uh, yes, I'm using Tropical Beach. No, I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> this deck requires a lot of setup. Um, you know, half, half these bad deck money decks would not even come close to being viable without Tropical Beach. But alright, there we go. Water Cannon for 150. Take that, Empoleon. Um, alright, one hit knockout. This is the power of Waylord. Now it's 200 HP. Monstrous Float Whale Pokemon. And my opponent promotes a Piplup and passes. 
But back to the, the Tropical Beach point, I do wish this card were a lot more accessible to people. Because it does allow for more creativity, I do think it's an awesome card. Uh, it was it was a well-designed card. I actually really like it. It just, they didn't make enough of them. So now there's, um, we have a $150 card, <laughs> which is which is silly. Uh, but in a, in a nutshell, I do like Tropical Beach. I do not like how exclusive it is, but I do have them, and I am trying to uh, entertain you here on Bad Deck Monday, so gonna keep using it. Alright, so thanks to the power of Tropical Beach, we do have a mighty army of Waylord powered up. Look at this, we have 8 energy in play, and what is my opponent supposed to do against this? It's a 200 hit point Pokemon, and if I flip heads, we get to reflip thanks to Victini's Victory Star. If I flip heads with Water Cannon, I just knock my opponent's Pokemon out in one hit, and what can they do about it? Now, the big downside is I do have to flip heads, right? Uh, even with the Victory Star Victini, it is a 75% chance to succeed with your attack. So one out of four times, you will fail. Uh, and when you do fail, it hurts really badly, because you're probably going to lose a lot of energy on that Waylord. So um, the flips are pretty important in this deck. You Obviously, you don't do damage with, without them, so um, we tried to avoid flipping as much as possible, but you're probably going to need to do it quite often. Uh, if you can flip heads, you pretty much win if you get all the energy on Waylord, but if you ever flip double tails, uh, it's not going to be a good day. So I used Giant Wave last turn to avoid the flip. For some reason, Giant Wave, after you use it, you can't use it next turn. I... <laughs> I don't know why they really thought this 4 energy attack that does 80 damage was too powerful. So they had to put a restriction on it. Um, but we'll just rush in with Keldeo and then put the Float Stone to get a free retreat. And then retreat. And then we'll just go back to Waylord and Giant Wave for 80 damage. Boom, take that Duskull. And Waylord is having a whale of a time here. Just um, rolling over. Trainer 1001001 who was afraid that it is Bad Deck Monday, so I apologize that you uh, have to face the wrath of Waylord. And we can see the Espeon. Uh, my opponents played Town Maps. You can see there is a Leafeon in the deck as well, but it's in the prizes right now, actually. So probably can't access that. Um, but we don't even have any damage <laughs> on field. And you can see... Uh, this is scary once it sets up. Uh, I act, Back last year at City Championships, I did face somebody playing a deck like this. Uh, they were using Blastoise Waylord, and I was playing my ho, ho deck, and it was really scary. You know, they would just get this Waylord out, and it's 200 HP. And it's just like, well, it, it came out, and it started attacking me, and I was like, what do I do to knock that out? Even a, a Mewtwo EX had trouble knocking out a Waylord. That's 200 hit points. And then they would just attach a bunch of energy and flip heads and knock out an EX. And hey, it was tough. Um, I, I don't think many people have tried this strategy. And that's pretty much why right there. Double Tails can't even knock out the Espeon. Darn it. But uh, this is a fun strategy. Um, <laughs> look at how much energy is on the Waylord right now. It's knocking out everything! If I can flip heads. And it has 200 hit points! I don't know how often I can say this. 200 freaking hit points! Only real thing that's gonna knock that out is like a Black Hiramy X using Black Ballista. I really should have added Giant Cape to this deck too. Uh, that would have been hilarious if I could have survived a Black Ballista from Black Hiramy X. Of course, lightning Pokemon can knock you out too, but eh, who plays those? Uh, all right, so we got an Empoleon coming out now, and it looks the most an Empoleon can do is 120 damage. All right, that's not close to knocking out Waylord. You would have to do 80 more. Um, even if I had taken five prizes and my opponent played an Iris, they would be 30 damage short, with a maximum damage attack command from Empoleon. 
Um, so we're going to go for the water cannon here, get a tails, and all right, get a heads on the reflip thanks to Victory Star. Victini and Empoleon goes down. What can you do when a Waylord has this much energy? I don't know, but I am very entertained. I'll say that much. <laughs> um, who needs Keldeo? Who needs Black Kiram? Who needs Mewtwo? We have this beautiful whale, and that's all we need. <laughs> uh, for some reason, this just really entertains me. All right, so another Empoleon is coming out, uh, but it's just going to get swatted down by the almighty Waylord. I think we all know that. That's what's going to happen here. Uh, but I can flip double tails. That um, That's the worst part about this deck. I never actually feel safe. You know, you would think in this position I would just kind of have the game wrapped up. But no, you can just flip double tails a couple turns and lose. I did that in a few games that I played before this one. <laughs> uh, staring down a Mewtwo EX with 5 energy on it. And then I had 6 energy on my Waylord. All I had to do is uh, flip heads and win. And I flipped two tails, and then my opponent attached, and X-balled me for 200. So, um, that's, that was not cool. Anyway, here's another water cannon for 150. Poor, poor Espeon. Goes down, and we're gonna take a prize, go down to one prize, and this has been complete domination from Waylord. You know, we got hit by that turn two attack command, lost a Squirtle, and roared back with the water cannon of Waylord, and all we have to do is flip heads one more time. I have five energy on the other Waylord sitting on the bench. So even if this active one gets knocked out, the next one can just come up, and we just need to hit Water Cannon. Even if we flip tails on the first one, I mean, um, I, I, my opponent can't really knock out Waylord in one hit, so we'll get four flips to win, basically. And here is the attack command. 400 to knock out the first Waylord. That thing took five prizes. And its brother is about to come out and avenge it. But alright, let's see. So all I have to do is flip here. But let's um, let's have some fun here, alright? It, it, it is Bad Deck Monday. So let's see just how much damage we can do with our Waylord. Alright, summon a superior energy retrieval. I have two of these in my hand. I'm going to discard two water since I can just um, you know, get back a bunch of water anyway. Um, and then we'll deluge, uh, all the energy we have onto the Waylord. <laughs> uh, this could backfire horribly if my opponent put down, like, a Mewtwo and a Double Colorless, but we aren't worried about that, okay? Um, so I have to decide what else I want to do here. I could Superior and then just get all the energy, uh, discarding the War Turtle and the Super Rod. But, you know, uh, I'll play the Super Rod and then draw more. I can shuffle in the water that I discarded. Uh, and we'll see if we can draw even more water off of this. So we'll deluge, deluge, deluge. Uh, I think we're up to 11 energy now on that Waylord. And we'll super rod in the other water, along with the uh, Whalemer and the Waylord, and we can Juniper for 7. Uh, nope, did not get any more water energy, unfortunately. But that's fine. We can even rare candy into Blastoise, but here we go. Um, let's go for a water cannon, and, oh, this is about to be a tsunami. Whoa, 330 damage. Oh, man, we knocked out that Empoleon, like, twice, twice over, more than twice. Oh, uh, we just destroyed that Empoleon, it is not living any longer. Um, rest in peace, Empoleon, you have been water cannoned. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, um, <laughs> Waylord is, is, is pretty fun. Uh, it doesn't always work like this. Most of the time it's very depressing to play. But this was one of the rare games where Waylord, you know, got out. And Empoleon got wrecked. That's all there is to it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll definitely have some more videos for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I will see you guys next time.